check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. In this video, we are going to talk about the stiffness of a badminton racket. The stiffness of a racket is one of the characters of a racket that you must consider before choosing a racket. A common mistake made by most people is that they use the racket that their favorite badminton player uses. When you're choosing a badminton racket, you have a choice between a flexible, or stiff racket shaft. A flexible shaft can bend easily, whereas a stiff shaft can hardly bend. Before buying a badminton racket, pay attention to the stiffness of the racket. Normally the stiffness of the shaft is written on the shaft itself. You can also test the stiffness by holding both ends of the racket, and bend it slightly. Make sure to be gentle. You don't want to break the racket. If the racket is easily bent, it has a flexible shaft. If it is not easily bent, it has a stiff shaft. However, a racket shaft, like all other equipment, will season. This means that over time, it'll become less stiff to a certain extent. Let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of using a flexible and stiff shaft. Firstly, repulsion. A flexible shaft offers good repulsion of the shuttlecock in a badminton swing. This is because a flexible shaft bends slightly towards the back and stores energy during your swing motion. As the shuttle comes into contact with the string bed of the racket, the stored energy will be released and then transferred to the shuttlecock. Therefore the holder of the racket does not have to exert too much strength for badminton shots, such as badminton clears from baseline to baseline. On the other hand, a stiff shaft offers little, or no repulsion. The shuttle will bounce off immediately after it comes into contact with the string bed of the racket. With less repulsion, shots are less powerful. This means that the holder of the badminton racket will have to swing harder in order to generate more power. Of course, a professional player won't have any problem using this type of racket. Let's look at the accuracy of shuttlecock placement. For a flexible shaft, the shuttlecock placement is less accurate. Since the shaft of the racket is flexible and easily bent, you'll find it slightly difficult to do a perfect shot placement. As the shuttle lands on the string bed of the racket, repulsion will cause the head of the racket to vibrate, leading to uncertainty in the flight direction of the shuttlecock. Therefore it's difficult to control where you want the shuttlecock to land with a flexible shaft racket. On the other hand, a stiff shaft is excellent for accurate shuttlecock placement. Unlike a flexible racket shaft, a stiff racket does not bend much. When the shuttle hits the string bed of the racket, it will not vibrate and cause uncertainty to the flight direction of the shuttlecock. Let's look at the disadvantages of using a flexible and stiff shaft racket. For flexible shaft, although it offer good power or repulsion, it lacks the speed in returning shots. As the shuttle lands on the string bed, repulsion takes place. The shaft will bend backwards, then forward before the shuttle is returned. In other words, the shuttle stays on the string bed for a longer period of time before it's returned. For the stiff shaft, the disadvantage is, it requires the player to have stronger swings or quick wrist action. In order to maximize your performance with a stiff racket, you'll need to have a good technique for stroking to generate sufficient strength in your swing motion. With a stiff racket, the strength in your swing motion will not be fully transferred to the shuttle when it hits the string bed. Or in other words, no repulsion. Besides, using stiff rackets are more about utilizing your wrist action to produce speed and power. Unlike a swing motion, the power from the flick of your wrist will be fully transferred to the shuttle. Therefore, 
you must possess good technique for badminton strokes and able to make use of your wrist action for power and better performance. So, which type should you use? A stiff shaft. Or a flexible shaft. It actually depends on your style of play and the level of skill and the speed and power you possess. Flexible rackets are suitable for beginners. This is because you don't have to exert a lot of strength in doing strong badminton shots. Kitting it from baseline to baseline also wouldn't be much of a problem. Since not much strength is needed, beginners don't have to worry about failing to hit the shuttle far enough, rather, they can concentrate on perfect technique. Stiff rackets are more suitable for intermediate and advanced players in general. A stiff racket is for badminton players who would like to perform the advanced skills of badminton. Since stiff rackets don't offer much repulsion, you'll have to assert more strength into your swing to generate more power. I'm not saying that beginners don't have the ability to produce powerful shots. But since flexible shafts generate more power, it requires less strength in a swing. Beginners should use this opportunity to master the correct techniques, rather than focusing on exerting strength. If you're a beginner using a stiff badminton racket, you'll find yourself concentrating on exerting sufficient strength into your swing, rather than concentrating on correct techniques. Intermediate or advanced players who are very familiar with correct badminton techniques can consider switching to a stiff racket to try out more advanced skills. In conclusion, there are pros and cons in both types of racket stiffness. Choose the one that you can benefit from the most. If you don't have a quick and powerful wrist, you might need extra help from the racket to get your shots to reach the back of the court. You should choose a flexible shaft racket. If you already have enough power in your wrist, you might want to concentrate more on the placement of the shots. Stiffer rackets are better for that. And if you want a bit of both, then you can choose a medium stiff racket. That's it for now. See you in our future videos.